Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on Web Technologies Lab. So today we are going to look at program file. So in this program, they are asking us to create a HTML page that is a web page uh, which displays something called as a selection box. Okay, selection box can also be called as combo box. Okay, or it can also be called as drop down list. Okay, selection box or combo box or a drop down list. So basically, you are going to see a box. When you click on the box, you are going to see a list of options. Okay, so here they are asking us to display a list of five countries any five countries okay and when the user selects a country from the list uh, the, the capital of the country should be displayed okay so the program is simple so you have to basically display a selection box uh, which contains five countries and whenever you select a country the capital of that country should be displayed for example if you select india delhi should be displayed as the capital okay and also they are asking us to add css cascading style sheets for customizing uh, the look of the capital okay so what uh, what to apply that is also they are giving here so they are asking us to change the font properties like color uh, bold and also they are asking us to change the font size okay so let's see how to do this. So let's go to Notepad. Okay, so I am going to quickly write some code. So doc type tag. So you already know what is the use of this doc type tag, and then comes the HTML root tag, opening tag, and similarly for closing tag. Okay. So first, let me save this file. Save. Uh, I am going to save it in D drive WT program 5. Okay, let me save the file as capitals.html. Okay, save. Right. Now you can see the file is saved as capitals.html. Now let's write the other essential HTML tags. So one of them is head tag. Okay, opening tag and similarly closing tag. Inside the head, we will general, generally write title tags. Okay, now let's give some title here like um, countries and capitals. Okay, now let's write the body section. So we have to display a selection box, right? To display selection box, you have to use the form tags because it is a kind of uh, form element. So we have to create form tags. And as usual, let's display some label like choose a country. Okay. Closing label tag. Now how to display selection box. Now you are going to see a new tag which you didn't use until now, which is select. Okay, S T L E C T select. And also let's give an ID because we need to access this in the JavaScript. Uh, let's give the ID as countries because it is going to display a list of countries. And also I am adding one more attribute which is on change okay i will tell you what is the use of this on change but let me write it so this is basically going to call the javascript function okay right now closing select tag right now in between the opening and closing select tags we have to uh, to display the list of options you have to use another tag called option tag Okay, now one attribute for option is value. 
okay i am writing the value as india and close the option tag now in between the opening and closing option tag you will write the text that you want to display for the option so the text i want to display is india so if you see i uh, the i i have given here is capital i and here it is small i okay so the user sees this one this capital okay india and i will tell you what is the use of this one okay so let me first of all write uh, four more options 1 2 now second country i want to display is usa third one will be uk uh, fourth one let's say germany okay and last one mm, let's say australia okay that's all now let's save this and see what is the output of this okay so this is the output so the label is displayed choose a country okay and after that the selection box is displayed so this code is displaying the selection box and if if i click on this arrow you will see the list of options india usa uk germany australia so if you see this what, what text is this this is this text okay this one this one uk germany and australia so whatever you give here in between the opening and closing option text that will be displayed here in the list now if i click usa nothing is happening right if i click germany nothing is happening okay because we didn't write the code yet right so let me write the code for that yeah now i will explain what is the use of this one on change equal to get capital so on change is an event okay on change is an event okay uh, in the previous programs for the button you have used on click right similarly for selection selection box we will use on change so when the when does this event occur so whenever a change or select an option the event is going to be fired okay so whenever the event uh, fires it is going to call this function called get capital so in the javascript we need to define this function okay so let's do that here in the head section i am writing javascript within this file only like in the previous program so for that we will use the script tags and give the type as text slash java script and let me close this so in between these two tags we will write the javascript here so the function we need is this get capital okay now here let me write the code so first we have to access which option i have selected right so to get the value that is that is what these things are used for okay value 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 now let's see how to grab this value which the user selects okay so let's let's create a variable called country and its value is document dot get element by id so what is the id of the select box this one right countries so this is the id countries dot value okay that's all so what is this thing going to return this thing is going to return one of these things okay the value india usa uk germany or australia whatever the user selects and it is going to be stored in this variable country okay now we have to check which country the user has selected so for that we will use the if statement so if country equal to equal to india that means if the user selects this one okay so it is this okay these two will match then what we have to do 
so in the web page i have to display the capital here okay so how to display the capital in the web page for that we have to include some more tags here after the font tag i am writing a new tag called div div means division so it's like an uh, imaginary box okay it has no output it is just used to group elements together so it's like a box div div means division okay so inside this div i am writing a paragraph and i am writing the attribute id whose value is capital okay and closing t tag so okay i forgot the double quotes right now p is for paragraph just to display some text so let me write some text here so this is a paragraph so let me show you how this is going to be displayed refresh okay so this is a paragraph it is just used to display paragraph of text that's all so we, i have to remove this because uh, this thing will come dynamically from the javascript that is the capital of the countries okay now if you see nothing happens because we didn't write the code yet nothing is happening okay so let it keep it like this so id of this paragraph element is capital okay so that i will use here so what to do let's copy this document dot get element by id here i will use the paragraph id which is capital okay that's all and now we have to dynamically insert something here okay in between the paragraph tags so how to do that from javascript means here you will use a new property called inner html okay and now the text you want to display we will give it here delhi so capital of india is delhi that's all now we will repeat this uh, for four more times using else if okay now second one is usa right so if country is usa capital is washington dc okay again else if the country is uk capital is london and one more time else paste so if it is germany uh, capital is berlin and last one no need of if we will just write else condition is also not needed and the last country we have written here is australia and capital of australia is canberra that's all this is the javascript code so what did we do here uh, we got the value of the select box by writing this code okay and we stored it in country and we are using this value to check whether which country it is india usa uk germany or australia and based on that we are displaying um, the capital okay london berlin canberra now let's see uh, how is the output being displayed okay now you can see if i select usa you are getting washington dc india delhi uk london germany berlin and australia canberra okay very good right now the program is not completed because they are asking us to use css also that is they want to display this capital uh, in different manner so i will use here style tags so from css program you already know what is this kind of css so what is the type of this css i am writing here can you guess okay so it is embedded css also called as internal css okay text slash css 
closing style tags. Now here I will write my CSS. So for what I have to apply the CSS, I have to apply for this paragraph tag, right? So I will simply write paragraph P. It is the P tag. Okay. Now here, so they are asking us to change the color. Let's give the color as blue. You can, you can give anything that you want, but I am giving blue. And also they want us to display the text in bold format. For that you have to use the property font weight and view it as bold and also they are asking us to change the size of the font for that we have font size let's write 32 pixels okay that's all that this is the css code now let's refresh yes very good right blue color uh, bold format and size of the font is bigger okay uk india germany Australia. That's all. So this is the program. Okay, I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, you can comment uh, below the video. I will try to respond. Okay, also like and share the video. Thank you.